Hi folks, it's Philip Andrews from the Photoshop Elements team and welcome along to this introduction to Photoshop Elements. In particular we're looking at Photoshop Elements 11 here and you'll notice that in the welcome screen that you're shown when you first start the program you have two different places that you can go to. The organizer workspace which is the place that you manage your and file and sort all your, for your images and the photo editor workspace where you edit, enhance and share your photos. So let's jump into the organizer to start with and see what we can do. Now if you've been working with Photoshop Elements already you will have some images inside the organizer workspace. If not then the first job that you need to undertake is to import those images. We can do that from a range of different places either from files and folders that you already have on your computer or from a camera or card reader or from a scanner or by searching or even from the Adobe Revel software. In this example what we're going to do is add some new images from a camera or card reader. So I'm just going to select this as the option. Automatically the photo downloader opens. We then need to just locate the card that's already connected to our computer or if you've connected your camera you can locate it here as well. We have a preview of the first image that we've got here. We can make some changes according to where we want the files to be saved and what file names they'll be used when they're saved in these areas here. I'm just going to click Get Media so that we can grab those images and bring them into our organizer workspace. We can add some keywords here if we wish and then just click OK. Automatically the new images that we've imported are placed front and center in the middle of the workspace. We can add these images to an album and I've got one created here called Travel. I'm going to click on the first and hold down shift and click on the last image. Just drag them across and drop them into the Travel album. Using an album is helpful because it means that we can easily get back to the images that we've just imported. So if I go back to All Media rather than having to scroll through all of the images that I see here, I can just click on the Travel album as well as using albums to provide a way of sorting and filing our images we can also add in keywords and you can see some suggested keywords that have been included here already. If we select one of the images we can even add another keyword to the image by just typing it in here and then just click add. So automatically this keyword is added to this photo. If we wanted to add that same keyword to the other images that I photographed in Nepal, well then we could select those other images and just drag it to the Nepal keyword. Now if I click on the Nepal heading and the little arrow off to the side here, you'll see that we can display all the images associated with that keyword. This is another way that we can file and sort our photos in order for us to get back to them very quickly. I'm just going to click back to the travel now and I'm going to look at one other way that we can sort our photos and that's by adding in a star rating. You see a set of stars sitting underneath our images here and we can go through and just select the images that are best according to the star rating and add in the star rating. So the better images will give higher star ratings, the not so good images will give lower star ratings or no rating at all. Why would we do this? Well it means that we can quickly sort through the photos that we have by clicking on the filter at the top of the screen like this. Here I'm saying to the organizer only show me the pictures that have three stars or more. So I'm getting a subset of my images which are the better ones or the ones that I rated as being better. If we want to see all the images again well then we can just remove those star rating filter at the top of the workspace so that we see all the photos inside the travel album. Now let's look at how we can quickly enhance the photo and then share it with our friends and family. So I'm going to select this photo here, double click on it so that we see the full size. We can add a caption, photos on the street in Nepal. And then we can enhance the image. So with the image still selected we go down and choose instant fix at the bottom right hand corner of the workspace. You see we've got several different features here that we can use to adjust contrast for instance if I just click here automatically the contrast is adjusted. We can add some sharpness to the image by just clicking this item. Change the color if we wish with this item and also do things like remove red eye if we were using flash, crop the image if we want to and improve the overall levels if we wish. 
Now we've made those changes, let's look about how we can share this image. So we go up to the drop down menu at the top here called Share, and you'll see we've got a range of different options here for sharing. The one I'm going to use is Facebook. Now if you haven't set up this connection before, you will need to authorise Photoshop Elements to work with your Facebook account. If you've already set it up, then you'll come through to this screen. Here I can upload the photos to a new album if I wish. I can nominate who's going to see my pictures and indicate the quality of the images that I will upload. So rather than create a new album, I'm going to select one that I already have and I'm going to call it On The Road. That's all set now. I'm just going to click Upload. And the files will be automatically uploaded to my Facebook page and posted there. So it's very quick and very easy to bring your images into the Organizer workspace and make some quick adjustments and then push them out and share them with your friends and family. So let's just go and visit the Facebook page now to check out the results. And if you scroll down on my Facebook page, you'll see the entry that we've uploaded from Photoshop Elements. But what if we want to take our editing just a little bit further and do some more sophisticated enhancement? Well, remember I said that Photoshop Elements has two different workspaces. The Organizer workspace, which we're looking at here, and the Editor workspace as well. So with this image still selected, let's now go down to the button at the bottom here which says Editor. This will launch the Editor workspace and take this image into that workspace. There we can make some more sophisticated changes to our picture. So we're in the Editor workspace now. We've got three different modes that we can work with. Quick, Guided and Expert. And we can make changes to our image using those different modes. And then save back to the organizer where we can quickly share our images and the changes that we've made.